Hello, my name is Mahogany L. Brown and I am the first ever poet in residence at Lincoln Center. I'm so thankful for the opportunity to show, curate and celebrate the many uh, voices that have made it possible for me to be here. Um, and so I'd like to introduce to you Working Apertures today. How we arrived in this city of steel and midnight with the ability to love and live is a miracle. The ways in which we remain is holy. I found myself at the intersection of East Third and Third Street in Lower Manhattan. I found my voice between the city blocks that begged for clean brown stones, organic produce, and clean parks in Brooklyn. I became an artist here. I became an organizer here. It is here, New York City, home to 8.3 million bodies that I learned the work of believing isn't rooted in action. The work of believing is painful and arduous and requires the artist, community member, and critical thinkers to stretch beyond what they have always known, always been blinded by. This city offers us a chance to get it wrong, to be messy, but to always return to our humanity for a real chance at getting it right. Love is right. Justice is light. Hope is empty without effort, and so we stretch. We work, we write, we plant, we paint, we take pictures, we move the lens closer and closer to the blood, closer even to the bone. I'm so excited to include the intergenerational discussion between poet and photographer, father and daughter. Meet Jeffrey Kay, lifelong photographer and New Yorker, and Sarah Kay, writer and performer. Their work is scored by Caroline Shaw and features sustenance that is the Westerlies. Sit back and enjoy our next installation of We Are The Work. This is Working Apertures. It is a project of birth or reveal. And like most creations that arrive, it only asks that you listen and be still for a couple of minutes, a couple of moments. This poem and these images create a touchstone of living. It is a quilt of belonging and being. It is textured by light and dreams. I am forever grateful to live in a time where art is being made and allowing our existence, our very survival, to be so blasted, glorious. Thank you and enjoy. If your hometown is also your first lesson in love, then it will not surprise you to learn that I am an expert in longing. I know I am never the only lover, that there is a good chance my name won't ring a bell if you ask of me tomorrow. I know every ode I attempt has been written before, that where I belong does not belong to me. Let me confess, it is true. I am always dizzy with motion. Sleep is that good drug I read about in a doctor's office but have never tried. And yes, my traffic is constant. And yes, I am addicted to flux, desperate for the high of discovery, scared to be caught wearing the same corner store twice. We inherit the vices of those who infatuate us. So I too have the habit of blushing and spinning before tourists that whisper, will you look at that? Can you blame me? Sometimes litter feels less like trash when a foreigner wants to photograph it. I can tell who is trying to capture me. I know who is looking for a souvenir with which they can return to a safe town, boasting of the time they braved my dangers, confident that they understand my strangeness now. I let them. It makes the loneliness rattle a little less loudly, 
even if it doesn't stick. Besides, the ones who can forgive the bitter Februaries and summer's relentless crowding. The ones who do not flinch at the cockroaches scuttle across the subway tracks at dawn. Are the ones who do not need to be told that there are as many corners of quiet as there are of honking. That it is possible to be both home and still unknown. To turn a familiar corner and gasp, I have lived here my whole life, but I have never seen this before. <laughs>